Bonjour, hello. Today on the National Day of Honor, as Clerk of the Privy Council, I want to extend my most sincere thanks and appreciation to all of those who served and supported Canada's mission in Afghanistan. The dévouement au service collective est une vocation sans pareil, et nous Canadiens pouvons être fiers de notre histoire à ce chapitre. To the brave men and women of Canada's armed forces and the hundreds of Canadian diplomats and public servants who played vital roles and served with courage and dedication, you have made a difference. With Canada's help, access to health care in Afghanistan has improved. Hundreds of kilometers of roads have been built or repaired, and irrigation systems have been developed. Additionally, dozens of schools have been restored, teachers have been trained, and more and more Afghan children now attend school. Say réussit, non toutefois, pas été assuré, sans en payer un prix énorme. Le Canada perdu 158 membres des forces armées, un diplomate et plusieurs civils. Nous ne pourrons jamais oublier cet immense sacrifice. But today, we honor the legacy. For more than a decade, you have made the most enormous of sacrifices to represent Canada in Afghanistan and to assist the Afghan people. On behalf of the entire Public Service of Canada, I want to recognize and thank you, all of you, for your support and your strength and your sacrifice during Canada's mission in Afghanistan. We have so much to be proud of as a nation.